Hey guys, this is Daniel from Tutorial Brothers, and I'm here with a quick tutorial for Motion 5 and Final Cut Express. It's cloning. This is um, a cheap way without rotoscoping or anything. Um, it's it's got some it's got some uh, downfalls, but yeah. So this is what it should look like at the end. It's pretty much it. I did that in less than 30 seconds. So that just goes to show you how quick this is. Now I'm going to be showing you how to do it in Motion 5, but um, it's the exact same thing for Final Cut. So first thing you're going to need is your clips, how many clips um, you want, is one of them, this is one clip, and then another one like that. So what you're going to do is bring them on to Motion or Final Cut Express, just layered on top of each other. Now what we're going to do is grab our top one and come down to our selector transform tool and uh, hold it and go down to crop and then we're gonna uh, grab right here and bring it over as you see that reveals another my other layer under it um... yeah <laughs> see how quick that was um, you can do this with as many clips as you want, as long as they don't overlap. A um, couple things you really, really want to watch out while filming is camera moving, um, reflections, shadows, and lighting. Those are all essential. Um, if you've got, if the camera moves even a hair, then your whole thing is garbage. Um, now, like I said, this is the really cheap way. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you don't have if if you don't have the perfect clips, some things um, that might help. Here are a few tips that might help fix it. Is uh, let me grab it. Where is it? Sorry. This. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry. Okay. Is bring your crop line where I cropped it to here. Uh, try and find a line in the video or something just to hide it a little bit. Because as you see, if it's over here or back here it won't look as great. See, you can see on the white table behind the right girl. I had bad lighting but I brought it onto the line here and you can't really tell. Um, another thing is brightness. You can change your brightness in um, filters, color correction and brightness. You can play with the brightness and uh, yeah, you can mix it. Um, just play with that. Also, um, feather. Feather right along the line. And try and blend it in there a little. So those are a couple of few tips. And yeah, it's pretty much it. Really, this is a really um, easy, easy, really beginner easy thing to do. So, I think yeah, I will have a rotoscope and roto with the roto brush tutorial coming up on Adobe After Effects, so stay tuned for that. Um, like, subscribe, favorite, uh, share, do all that good stuff. Um, what else is there to tell you? I think that's it. I think that's pretty much it. Yes, these are my two dogs. They're awesome. <laughs> okay, well, bye for now, guys. Thanks.